The Irish stew, considered to be one of the national dishes of Ireland. This stew is so full of flavour and is one of Jack's all-time favourite meals. Traditionally, it's made with neck of mutton and very few vegetables, like onion and potatoes. It dates way back to the 1800s, but I'm sure it goes way further back than that. We love making this, so watch along and find out how you can too. Hello, welcome back to the channel. This week we're doing a St. Patrick's Day special. As usual, it's going to be quite an interesting one, and this is going to be a traditional Irish stew made with lamb, and also I'm doing some cow cannon mash with it. So just follow along and you'll see a traditional being made right in front of you. See you soon. Start off by prepping your vegetables. If you're following my recipe, you're going to need carrot, onion and potato for the stew itself. Roughly chop your veg into chunks like you see me doing here. Remember, you're also going to need some veg for the cow cannon too, like you see me chopping here, but we'll get to that in a bit. Adding my own little twist, I'm also going to throw in some streaky bacon, just to lift the flavour and give it some more salt through the ingredients. This is optional, but I neck a pint of Guinness halfway through cooking, but make sure you savour your second pint though. Head over to your saucepan and give it a good glug of olive oil before throwing in what you've prepared. When the pot is hot, add in the bacon, onion, carrot and garlic to get them cooking away. Give it a stir and add in some salt and some pepper to taste. I personally recommend a fair bit. When your pot is getting hot, Add in the ingredients that are cooking off. After about 10 minutes, add in your neck of lamb. Also throw in some sprigs of thyme and rosemary. Remember to peel off the stem though. Whilst this is cooking out and the flavours are binding, get some vegetable stock into the mix like you see here. Now, add in a can of Draft Guinness to really get this dish to the next level. It will help bind it all together and give a real burst of flavour. It's a waiting game. You need to let your stew pot go onto a medium to low heat for 90 minutes. So don't plan on making this meal if you're in a rush. It's now cow cannon time. Cow cannon, if you didn't know, is basically an Irish variation of mashed potatoes that has leeks and spring greens. It's banging, as Jack would say. I'm a lucky boy, so I'm using my Thermomix to make this but it's been done for hundreds of years without a Thermomix, so you can do it too. If you have a Thermomix, just follow the on-screen recipe found in your Cookie Do app. If you don't have a Thermomix, it basically involves binding together, chopped steam leeks and greens, adding seasoning, and then forming them into mashed potatoes and serve it as a base for your stew. Lots of this is done to taste, so make sure you have a healthy amount of greens and potatoes. Make mashed potatoes how you normally would, with butter and salt, and then add it all together. When your stew is about 20 minutes away from being ready, add in your potatoes. This is the finishing touch and it will make the meal complete. I highly recommend that you taste as you go. You may want some more salt or pepper. Lastly, add a good helping of your cow cannon and then add your lovely stew on top. I really hope you enjoy this one and a happy St. Patrick's Day to all of my Irish subscribers. Hello, welcome back done it that's come out really nice the recipe that I've done is for one so this is for Jack all right I'm not eating it because I'm trying to lose a bit but it don't stop drinking drinking the black stuff because I like that anyway Jack's gonna come along and taste this and he'll let you know how it is this is it this is my favorite part mm. there you go nice let's have a go let's go in let's put the lamb Mm. Mm. 
Now he just come back from Dublin. Mm. That's why I've got this gift from St James's Gate. So he'll tell you if it's authentic or not. It is. He one over there. Proper stuff. I'll let you on camera now. I don't know how they do it on TV. Mm. Good. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the making of this video. I'm sure Jack enjoyed tasting it and I enjoyed drinking to it. So we'll see you again quite soon for another video. Thanks everybody for subscribing and see you again soon. Bye.